So apart from metadata, once we scan and when you run these packages, the other thing we create is we create relationships between these assets. And one use case of creating these relationships is lineage. So the next part, let's jump to this lineage tab. What you see here is this is the asset we are in. And you see on one hand, this is coming from an upstream table in stuck out orders. And on the downstream, this is connected to a BI Explore, which is on Looker. Now, but if you see a big tick, which means that there is further lineage upstream that this is coming in from. And as soon as you click that, now suddenly you see this is coming from a transactional system in stuck out orders, which might be in Postgres. So if I just zoom out, what this creates is, it creates that end-to-end -end lineage from your transactional system to your analytical, the first layer, this may be the raw layer, your uh, final layer, this could be the end user layer, the analytics layer, which also connects to then BI. So the next time you want to do a root cause analysis, why that dashboard number was wrong, you don't need to go to the terrace. You can just come here uh, and figure out what dashboards, what's, what's actually broken. And not only that, you can look at right at the column level. So if I click that department, I could easily see where exactly these columns are getting derived from. And beyond this, we also bring the operational metadata. So if I click this big five time logo and I open this sidebar, you also get to see actually the operational pipeline, which is actually bringing this. So in case you have access to, to five time, this will actually open up the operational actual pipeline uh, which is actually running this and bringing this data from Postgres to Snowflake. 